Okay, so we'll come to math story, yeah? and let's have this problem. So find the n term of the arithmetic sequence using this formula. So we have a sub n, that's the last term, equals a sub 1, that's the first term, plus d, the common difference, times n minus 1. So for this given, since we're looking for the 9 term, so therefore, a sub n is equal to a sub 9. Then for a sub 1, that's the first term, and the first term is positive 2. Then for d, the common difference, so the distance between these two numbers, so from 2 to 5, that's 3, and from 5 to 8, this one is also 3, so therefore the common difference is positive 3. Then for n, since a sub n is equal to a sub 9, so therefore n is equal to 9. Then substitute these values to this formula. So we have a sub n, that's a sub 9, equals a sub 1. And a sub 1 is positive 2, plus the common difference, that's 3 times n. n is 9, then minus 1. Then simplify, so we have 2 plus 3 times 9 minus 1, that's 8. Then we have 2 plus 3 times 8, this one is 24. So therefore, the a sub 9 or the 9 term is 26. Then for this given, so since we're looking for the 28th term, so therefore, a sub n is equal to a sub 20. Then for a sub 1, the first term, that's positive 3. And the common difference, so from 3 to 5, this one is 2. 5 to 7, that's 2. So therefore, the common difference is positive 2. Then for n, since a sub n is equal to a sub 20, so n is equal to 20. Then to solve now for the 20th term, so we have a sub 20 equals a sub 1, that's 3 plus the common difference, that's 2 times n is 20, then minus 1. Then simplify, so we have 3 plus 2 times this one 20 minus 1, that's 19. Then we have 3 plus 2 times 19, this one is 38. So therefore, a sub 20, or the 28th term, so 3 plus 38, this one is 41. Then for this given, this 68th term, so therefore, a sub n, that's a sub 16. Then a sub 1, the first term, that's positive 1. Then d, the common difference, so from 1 to 1 half, this one is minus 1 half. And from 1 half to 0, also minus 1 half. So therefore, the common difference is negative 1 half. And n, since a sub n, that's a sub 16. So therefore, n is equal to 16. So to solve now, for the 60th term, so we have a sub 16 equals a sub 1 is 1 plus d, that's negative 1 half, times n is 16, then minus 1. Then simplify, so we have 1 plus negative 1 half times, so 16 minus 1, this one is 15. Then simplify, so we have 1 plus, so this negative 1 half times 15, this one is negative 15 over 2. Then simplify, so we have now, uh, we're going to use the cross multiplication, so this one is over 1. So 1 times 2, this one is 2, then plus... 1 times negative 15, this one is negative 15, then over 1 times 2, this one is 2. Then we have now a sub 16 equals 2 plus negative 15, 
this one is negative 13, then over 2. So this is now the 16th term. Then for this given, so since we're looking for the 19th term, so therefore a sub n is equal to a sub 19. And for n, so a sub n, that's a sub 19, so n is 19. Then we have this a sub 1 and the common difference. So to solve now for the 19 term, so we have a sub 19 equals a sub 1, that's 25, plus the common difference, that's negative 2 times n, n is 19, then minus 1. So we have now 25 plus negative 2 times 19 minus 1, this one is 18. Then we have 25 plus negative 2 times 18, this one is negative 36. So to solve now for the a sub 19 or the 19 term, so this 25 plus negative 36 is negative 11. So this is now the 19th term.